saw a sign A question mark box, see what's inside I could send a blue shell to you Hello again, YouTube! This is Dr. Kendo, your boy! But one thing you're gonna notice in this video is actually that, yes, this is a Mario Kart Wii commentary, but this is a battle commentary, and we are going to be playing on Game Boy Advance Battle Course 3, and I don't really think this is like a spectacular course or anything like that for battle. Um, it's not like I play battle too often. I never burn out! What was that? So anyway, uh, as I was saying, I don't, um, you know, typically get into battle, but actually that's what these Ah, oh, you suck! That's what these questions will be. Uh, they'll be battle-related, and that was awesome! And so, this is very high energy uh, right from the start, as you can see. But one thing I'll mention really fast is just if you're not familiar with me and my commentaries, I don't know who is that is seeing this right now and who isn't, but um, I like to answer questions from my viewers or subscribers. And so I've got some that are battle themed or battle related. So the first one comes from my boy, Gold Raptor 17 and he asks, Do you like or dislike battles and why? Well, I'm gonna say that I do not like them as much as races. It's not like I don't like battles at all on Mario Kart Wii. Uh, I'm just much more of a fan of racing. It has that fast pace, like anything can happen kind of uh, dynamic to it and the drama of racing. It's just, it takes a lot of skill. I don't know, battle just kind of, it, it can kind of uh, drive me nuts after a while, I guess. Uh, it, it's just not, I guess, as fun and dynamic, in my opinion, as the racing is. Of course, this is just a matter of my opinion. One thing I do like about Battle, though, is uh, I like to play it when I have other people in the room with me, side by side and everything, which actually does lead me into my next question from my girl, Elena Juno, one of my uh, subscribers and friends. She asks, How often do you play on Battle, and when you do, is it online or offline? So, as I was kind of hinting, you know, I like to do uh, the battling typically when somebody's in the room with me, and often I've actually had some really fun times with my sister and her husband and, you know, one of my friends or somebody else just to fill the fourth seat where we basically have all four of us on one console, you know, and just all play in the same room and uh, just have fun smoking the computer away. And, <laughs> of course, you know, maybe the other people are not as uh, familiar and adept with Mario Kart, so that kind of gives it its own fun dynamic and everything uh, so I would say definitely as far as battles go th those are kind of the stipulations that I play battle under really my favorite courses uh, would not be the GBA battle course 3 like we're playing on right now I more prefer funky stadium and the block I like to call it block fort it's the block plaza uh, I'm familiar more with the Mario Kart 64 because I think that that was when battling was at its best one thing that I really get annoyed with battling is uh, I don't know if I should save this in case I do future battle commentaries and everything, but uh, I really don't like the coin runners just because, you know, you could be, you could have like 17 coins or something and then get hit in the last maybe five seconds, you know, during the countdown or something, and that'll immediately cut your thing in half or whatever it does, and you lose all those coins, and it's just like so frustrating to work so hard to earn something up and then to just lose it like that. But anyway, we are near the end of the battle, and so I'm gonna go ahead and end the commentary here. Just as a quick update before I, you know, exit off here, um, I do want to say that I still have not found work. Um, for those who don't know, the company I worked for left me to die. They basically uh, dissolved all their U.S. offices, which is, of course, where I was working, is uh, in their U.S. office. And they basically came all the way from Germany. They, are, they were German investors. They came from Germany to say, basically, hey, this isn't profitable in the U.S. anymore, so, you know, good luck. And uh, they left me on my ass out here. And so I'm very upset about that. Uh, I loved that job. It was very good for being a YouTuber and everything. It just, it had so many perks to it. And so I've been interviewing and filling out appies and turning them in and just doing whatever I can to try and find some new work. And it's tough. I mean, you hear people talk about the economy, quote unquote, and whatever, and just, and stuff like that. But it really is uh, tough, you know? It sucks. I'm not going to lie. And what really sucks, in addition to all this, is, you know, I'm trying to, of course, pay my rent and pay my way and everything, which I was doing before, but uh, I'm also paying for a wedding. For everybody who doesn't know, I almost mention this almost every video now, um, me and my fiancé are going to get married September 1st, 2012, so it's actually coming up in a good six months here, and it's just coming sooner and sooner, and I still don't have work right now. It's only been about a month since the company I worked for dissolved, but it feels like forever when you're unemployed 
And I'm going to go on a tangent here, but the, the university that I went to, actually, the um, you know alumni association called me today and they were asking for a donation, you know, a monetary gift. And I was really like I was really, really busy. I had somewhere to be at 730 and they were calling me while I was trying to eat my dinner fast so that I could get up and go and everything. And they just wanted to ask me so many questions before actually getting to the, hey, will you donate money and everything? First off, I can't donate money. I'm unemployed. Damn it. I need a job. Damn it. I can't give them money. But also the the person calling me was a current junior at the university. And so I felt like such a dunk because I had to hang up on him at a very bad time. You know, I confirmed what my phone number was and my address and all that stuff when he asked but then he was asking me before like saying you know will you give some money he's he's all like as I said before I'm currently a junior here and I just like to ask everybody that I'm calling what kind of advice would you give to people who are about to graduate or juniors who are about to become seniors and graduate and that was like the time that I hung up on him and so it's like oh what advice can you give about graduation click and I hang up on him it's like there's your first lesson I felt like such a jerk and uh I did not mean it to be like that at all. I just really, really had somewhere to be. And he was calling me during dinner. So it's just like, what can you expect out of me? You know, uh, I had to do it. That was such a tangent. So I should get back on track and say, please look up Dr. Kendo commentaries on Facebook. I will have the link in the descriptions, but it's the new Facebook page for Dr. Kendo commentaries. So definitely go quote unquote, like that page. But otherwise, I'll catch you on the next vid. Thanks for viewing. Targets on my back and I can make matters worse Cause I've been sizing up the track It seems to always be a danger The further I traverse Met with piranha plants Causing you to hit reverse The green light is on And there's fire from my engine Didn't even look back But heard the other racers bitching Now it's just me and my modest but trusty mock bike